Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. If you use Slime Line, well, I did a little test on it and you're gonna be shocked at the results. And in total disclosure, I was not paid to do this test or give the results. And the line was sent to me by someone who is not employed by the manufacturer. This line is made by Catch the Fever, the same people that make Big Cat Fever Rods. This line came from a store. It is priced at $12.95, 40 pounds, a diameter of 0.61 millimeters, and it comes in a 325 yard spool. Well, if any of you follow my channel, I have a test that I did live uh, in 2017 with Slime Line. It was a 20 pound spool that I was using. Uh, we did it live. It was back early when I was doing live stuff and I decided to try it live and see how it worked. We had a little test set up. I had taken some Andy line that I had uh, to kind of go through and practice with beforehand to see how things were working. And basically what we did was a water test. We're trying to find a way to add a very even incremental amount of weight as you went and uh, be able to weigh it afterwards and get a very accurate reading on actually how much weight the line held. Well, we did some tests with the Andy line. We saw how, how high things needed to be set and adjusted for, to allow for line stretch and that kind of thing. Because all monofilament has some stretch to it. That's one of the forgiving factors about it. When we tied up the slime line, we were a little bit surprised at just how much stretch there was. Well, subsequent tests with this line revealed that the stretch was up as much as 40%, which is really shocking. Uh, it's a lot of stretch in a fishing line. Uh, in one sense, it's forgiving. Uh, it, it, you know, if you get a fish uh, and it's putting a lot of weight on your line, it'll stretch. It went way above what it was rated for too. That was another thing. It was significantly above what the line was rated for. And that's typically what happens when you have a line that has stretch to it. You're probably asking yourself, well, that's great, isn't it? You know, it's a 20 pound line. It's breaking at 30 pounds. Isn't that great? Well, it is the first time you use it. What happens is that line gets stretched and if it doesn't snap back to its original size, it is stretched and it is thinner than what it was before. And as some of you may or may not know, monofilament weight ratings are based on the diameter of the line. So if you have a piece of line that is a 40 pound line, 0.61 millimeters, and you stretch it and it goes to 0.4 millimeters, well, you've got something that's down in the 20 pound range then. What that means is you load that line up you go use it again, the first time it may not have broke at what it was rated for. Um, you may have put 30 pounds of pressure on you know, a, a 40 pound line, but if it's stretching a lot, the next time you may only get 15 pounds out of it. So that is always the concern with line that has stretched. It's forgiving, but what you have to do as an angler is you have to replace that line every time you put a significant load on it. That means you know getting into a big fish, cranking your drag down, or if you get snagged and you have to wind your line around your reel or around a uh, wooden dowel to break it, that line's been loaded up, it's been stretched, you need to go home and replace it before your next fishing trip. Now for me as an angler who drifts a lot, and I do a lot of drifting, dragging and trolling, you know, you get hung up, you will get snagged, you end up breaking line off. I like line that breaks right around what it's rated for. Uh, I don't like a lot of stretch to it. I like enough stretch to be forgiving and I like the line to break. And that's one of the reasons historically I've used Andy line. So what happened was somebody sent me a partially used spool uh, 40 pound slime line after seeing my original test and wanted me to put it through the same paces. I uh, did the test a little bit different this time. I did it the way I've done some stuff with Andy and uh, with Mamoy. And just using a scale and instead of filling up the water, which is really time consuming, uh, I just use the hand scale, pulling on it, lifting on it, seeing where it breaks. Uh, and what I did was to keep it fair and get a good estimation, I did multiple tests repeatedly. Uh, to get a ballpark range because yeah, there are some things that can happen that can give you some errors there if a knot's not you know cinched down tight something slips that kind of thing so I wanted to be fair about it and I did six different tests uh, with it outside and I got ran off by a thunderstorm came back inside and while I was sitting here in my office I did about six or seven more just sitting here and the results are kind of interesting get it at zero Let's see where it goes Oh. 
46. Got a little bit of rain rolling in here. I have to get this done. It's getting dark. Right at 40 again. So we got <clears throat> 41. <clears throat> 48. <clears throat> 40. Head over 40. Unlike the 20 pound line that I tested last year, this line has a lot less stretch. Uh, I was really shocked. I had actually made some accommodations outside uh, for how far I was going to have to pull the line because like I said with the 20 pound line, it almost doubled in length before it broke. Uh, I don't know if I had a faulty batch of line uh, that time uh, or if this is some really good line this time. But this line had very acceptable stretch to it. I think the most shocking thing for me was where this line was actually breaking at. It was breaking right around what it's rated at, which historically when I've tested this line, it's broken way above uh, where what it's rated for. Like I said, for some people, they love that. They like that fact that they're getting a lot more out of the line. But for me, the stretch is my concern. Uh, this line, I was pretty shocked. Uh, there's not a lot of stretch to it, and it's a lot more within the comfort zone of a line that I would like to use. What's my take on all this? Well, like the title says, I was shocked at the results. Uh, I did them. Uh, I saw them with my own eyes and uh, went back and checked them for errors to see if I was doing anything wrong. The good news is the shock was a good shock. Uh, I was impressed with the way the line performed in the test. Uh, the uh, breaking strength was where it needed to be. I want a line to break around what it's supposed to be breaking at so I know the performance that I'm getting. Uh, the stretch was minimal. The stretch was well within a tolerance that I like to see on a monofilament line and I wouldn't have any worries about loading the line and then having to replace it that night before the next trip. Well folks, hopefully this gives you some good information uh, to make a decision on if this is a line that you want to purchase. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that little uh, bell symbol down there so you'll be notified when new videos are out. And give us a thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you on the water.